Hi, welcome to ElectroArc. I'm Eric Miller. What you see next to me is a Model 2 SAC carbide disintegrator equipped with ElectroArc's DC direct current output disintegrating transformer. In this part, I've got a broken carbide, 10 millimeter tap, that's approximately one inch deep. I've taken the time to align the electrode over the top of the broken tap already and assemble the 200 thousandths electrode into the collet and chuck lock nut assembly. For this size part, we would typically recommend the Model 1 SC. As you can see, our tabletop here is a little bit small for this part. We've got some hanging off, but for demonstration purposes, this will work just fine. To start the disintegration process, I'm going to go ahead and drop our Electro Arc splash bag and cover the edges with a rag. I can then touch off the top of the part with my electrode and set my depth top, which I've taken the time to do ahead of time. With Electro Arc's DC automatic servo controlled head, I've got remote start and stop switches and have the ability to run the machine from the point of disintegration. To start, I simply hit the start switch and let the machine take over. ElectroArc manufactures a wide range of table sizes from 18 by 20 inches on up through custom sizes if necessary. The 1SC is equipped with a, with a 32 inch by 39 inch tabletop and a 50 inch column. We're using a 36 inch portable column with a magnetic base today and the standard column height on this machine is 50 inches with 60 and 72 inch columns available as well. As you can see the disintegrator is feeding itself down automatically and we're for the most part hands off. We're simply monitoring the performance using the ammeter and shooting for a current that we find on our ElectroArc selector chart. The base machine settings are found on the selector chart as well. We know based on the size tap, 10 millimeters, that we're going to use the 200 thousandths electrode. And on the selector chart, it tells us that we need a given heat selection and a given amperage. And that's what we're shooting for today. As this begins to feed down, the electrode is moving up and down in a stroke travel of 10 thousandths of an inch, thereby disintegrating the tap. And the coolant flows to the center of the hollow electrode and washes it away. As you can see, the head is moving up and down. The servo feed is taking over and controlling the, the cut, shooting for that, that target amperage that I have the machine set for. As it moves up and down, it will continue to flush the cut. If I so choose, I can loosen the, the chuck, and I could run the machine by hand until we hit the bottom of our hole, which I think we're about there. So we're going to stop the disintegrator, pull the head out of the way, and see if our, our tap is loose. It's almost out. I, core is actually wiggling a little bit. So we're going to go in there one more time and just finish the cut. I'm going to finish this one by hand. Looks like we're to the bottom. We hit our stop switch. Yep, we're all the way to the bottom. The tap is loose. So I can loosen up my cross arm get my head out of the way using an electro arc pick. I can break the tap and remove the cutting flutes and core from the hole. A little bit of air cleans out the remaining debris and then a brand new tap in removes any 
final bit of debris from the hole. As you can see, the tap goes in no problem. And there is our cutting flutes and core of the tap. As you can see, with our ElectroArc fiber optic inspection light, the threads are intact and the tap is completely removed from the hole.